So Essex Queen's Foundation is an independent charitable trust and we work with families and businesses to advise them on their charitable giving and how they give to organisations in Essex. Our relationship with Harwich Haven Authority started in 2018 when they approached us to talk with us about how they could support uh, communities in and around Harwich. We are able to bring together different businesses and different charities together so that we can help them to tackle some of those pressing community issues and really get the community working together more effectively. One of the great projects that the Harwich Haven Authority has funded is the Parks and Residents and Park Association and that was founded by a chap called Bill Davidson. With the money he received from Harwich Haven Authority, built an outdoor gym. They've also provided a whole range of activities and it really is a way in which local residents can come together around something they all care about and it has created a greater sense of ownership of that particular park and a, a community spirit. Only funding can produce this. You can't do it without funding. If you haven't got funders, then the communities are going to die. I've got a great committee, and without them I couldn't do it, obviously. It's not just me, it's the whole committee. The treasurer is, is top class, and everybody on there, I only need to pick the phone up if I need help. Harwich Haven is a, a trust board, and, and part of the, the trust board ethos is to uh, pay back a, a stakeholder dividend, and very much stakeholders to Harwich Haven Authority are the young people of the area, and to be involved, to be able to sponsor this event, and actually recognise some of their achievements, it's a great thing to do. Without the sponsorship and the funding from local businesses and the support that they give us as well, we wouldn't be able to run the awards. It's been amazing for us having Harry Haven on board. Without that support and acknowledgement, we wouldn't be able to do this. One of the projects that we have supported through the Harry Haven Authority is, the, is tendering community transport. Harwich is fairly isolated and cut off and it's quite a distance to its local general hospitals and transport in that area is a particular issue and so the community transport service will collect often older people and take them shopping, take them to the GP. Not only is it a transport scheme but it's a very social aspect. You walk through the door you see an elderly person and they come in, they sit, they chat and They've had such full lives and you think you don't see that, you just see an elderly person and now they need help, you know, they've, they've lived full lives, they've helped people themselves and now they need the help. There's so much voluntary and community activity that happens across our county on a daily basis and it's inspiring. Harwich is a great place for a secret gardens because it's not very big. You can walk around with ease and there are lots of little watering holes. Every business that does fund for an ad is clearly marked on the map where they are and I think they all benefit from people getting here. It's not really just about the gardens, it's about the community and it's about the people and the wider community that benefit from the money raised from the sale of the programmes every year. Another one that Harwich Haven have funded is the Faroe Trust and they're trying to increase local knowledge of the maritime history of Harwich and it's a great example of a historic vessel that's now open to the public and provides educational opportunities for young people in the community. The great thing about working with Harwich Haven Authority is that they've taken a very long-term view about how they want to support the community in Harwich and they've set up an endowed fund with the Community Foundation which means each year we will have money that we can invest in the local community and it's wonderful to be able to connect those really small organisations to companies like Harwich Haven Authority who otherwise probably wouldn't even know that they exist.